Hello and welcome. This is Nandini Hirani, and you are watching It's Tomorrow News. Resort hit by devastating landslide in New Zealand after terrific volcanic eruption. Around 1,000 tourists have been left stranded at a popular resort in New Zealand after a horror landslide. This comes after a terrifying volcano that erupted on a popular tourist on Monday in New Zealand. The huge landslip will see tourists face an uneasy wait for rescuers. Authorities in New Zealand have warned the tourists that they may not be saved until Friday. The mudslides happen near the Franz and Fox glaciers which Sky News reports is on the country's South Island. An exit had been cleared to save some tourists but at 800 or possibly 1000 were still left at the Franz Josef glacier. According to the Guardian, the country's Met Service said mental and western areas in the northern island would likely be struck by severe thunderstorms. The expected downpours could create around 25 mm to 40 mm of rain per hour. The service also said small tornadoes were possible. It added, rainfall of this intensity can cause surface or flash flooding, especially about low-lying areas such as streams, rivers, narrow valleys and may also lead to slips. The active cold front over central New Zealand continues to deliver rain over to the upper southern island and the Wellington area. Thunderstorms are expected to bring strong winds and squally conditions to the Taranaki region particularly. It comes after a weekend of devastating weather across New Zealand. Widespread flooding was reported in Timaru district which has been in a state of emergency since Saturday. The region's council reassured the public assessments on the area would be carried out and support provided to those affected. Meanwhile, at least five people are reportedly killed in a volcanic eruption on a popular New Zealand tourist island. Thirteen people are presumed to have died, five of those are confirmed dead and eight are still missing on the island. The volcano erupted on Monday as tourists were visiting the popular attraction. 34 people survived with most of them still receiving treatment in hospital. Among those hit by the eruption are people from New Zealand, Australia, Germany, China, Malaysia, the US and the UK, according to police. Visitors from several countries as well as locals are among the missing and injured. Police said a total of 47 people had been on island when the disaster happened on Monday afternoon local time. The volcano erupted in two explosions in quick succession on Monday, sending up a thick plume of ash and smoke. A live feed from the volcano showed several visitors inside the crater before the stream went dark. Some survivors were rescued by boat in the immediate aftermath of the explosion, but police said it was too dangerous to mount a rescue operation. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nandini Hirani. For more news updates like these, please subscribe our channel.